everybody, I'm David Bach, founder of The Automatic Millionaire Blueprint and the author of the number one New York Times best-selling book, The Automatic Millionaire. First of all, I want to thank you for coming to watch this training and I really want to thank all of you for all of your comments from the first training video. I'm so excited that that training video had such a big impact on so many of you and I know you're going to love the training video today. Here's what I have for you right now. I'm going to show you how to put your entire financial life on autopilot in less than an hour. Now, that may sound like a really big challenge, but what you're gonna see right now, it's actually very simple. This cool board that I've got here for you, I'm gonna walk you through the seven places that your money needs to go automatically to build financial security for life. And again, it's really simple when you know the order flow. So let's just jump into it. The first thing that needs to happen when you earn money, and you'll see I've got salary income here, the first thing that needs to happen when you earn money is you have to pay yourself first automatically. Now I talked about this in the first training video. Let's take a look at where that money goes. Before you take this money and you deposit it in your bank account, the first place you're going to put money is into a retirement account. This is the only legal way that you can pay yourself first before you pay taxes. The key word here though is it needs to happen automatic. So what you want to do is, assuming you have a job right now, you're working, you want money to be peeled right off of your paycheck before you can touch it and put right into a retirement account. That would be like a 401k plan at work, IRA accounts, self-employed retirement accounts. The key here, if you have a job and you're employed, you want to have that money peeled off of your paycheck right into that 401k plan. Now, here's what you need to know. Most people who use 401k plans are saving around 3 to 4%. And the reason is someone told them at some point in time, all they should be saving is the minimum that their employer matches. That's the single biggest mistake that people make. What I want you to be doing is saving at least an hour a day of your income. Now I've started by showing you save 5%. That's a minimum number. But here's what I want you to do. If you're not saving 10%, 11%, 12% right now, I want you to pick a percentage of your income and then make it a goal to increase it every month. What I've had people do is start with 5%, and the next month they go to 6%, and then they go to 7%, and then they go to 8%, and then they go to 9%, and then they go to 10%. By the end of the year, they're up to 12% and they don't even notice it. If you don't have a retirement account at work, then you're gonna need to open up an IRA account. If you're self-employed, you'll want a self-employed retirement account or a 401k plan or a defined benefits plan. Now, in the Automatic Millionaire Blueprint training that I do, I'll break out for you later exactly what these accounts look like. But just know that for right now, the first place you're gonna put money is in your retirement account. All right, we've got that taken care of. Now, second thing, when, after you put money in your retirement account, the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put money into a checking account. Here's the key, folks. This money should be going into a checking account automatically. Most Americans still today get physical checks. If you're getting a physical check, First of all, it's just a huge waste of time. You literally get handed that check and then you've got to walk that check down to the bank. It doesn't make any sense. If you're working for a company right now that can do automatic deposit for you, have that money automatically deposited into a checking account. Now, once that money is automatically deposited in a checking account, now we've got one, two, three, four, five more buckets that you need to be automating in your financial life. So here's what you want to do. If you do not have an emergency account right now, and by the way, what's an emergency account? An emergency account is an account that you've got set up separate from your checking account, doesn't have an ATM card, it's an account that you're going to set up for what? Emergencies. You want to consider this your airbag, if you will. Like if you've got in a car and you put on your seatbelt, this is the account that's going to protect you in case you lose your job, you can't work, you become disabled, whatever the financial situation may be, you need to have an emergency account set up. Now, let me walk you through what this should look like. Emergency accounts should have, at a bare minimum, three months of expenses set aside. Depending on the security of your job or your income or how much money you have in savings, I would recommend as much as 24 months of savings set aside. But for most of you watching today, if you can get a six month cushion of monthly expenses set aside, that's a huge emergency account that should give you a lot of comfort. Now, you may be looking at me right now and saying, there's no way I can get six months of expenses set aside. No, actually there is. The way you do it is that you peel off a certain amount of money from your paycheck 
into this emergency account, that's the second, I should say, that's the third thing you do. I just got done doing a speech recently, like two weeks ago, and a guy came up to me, it was behind the stage actually, I was doing a large event in Miami, and one of the people who were working on the event, he was in the crew, he actually came up to me almost in tears and said, David, I just gotta tell you something, I read The Automatic Millionaire, and the one key thing that I did after seeing you on Oprah and reading the book, is I set up an emergency account. He said, when I, when I first saw you and heard that message, I didn't have one, and he said, I set it up, it took me eight years to build it, because like, I literally saw you eight years ago, over eight years I built my emergency account, he lost his job, he said if he hadn't had an emergency account set up, he would have literally ended up homeless. And he just like literally took me aside and said, that's one of the most important things I've ever learned, and, and I learned it from you. So, you know, you may have heard of this idea of having an emergency account, but my question to you honestly is right now, do you have one set up? If you don't, that's what you need to focus on next. Okay, after the emergency account, this one to me is a little bit more, is quite frankly more exciting. Um, this is what I call your dream account. Now, most people don't have dream accounts. Let me walk you through what a dream account is. When I was a financial advisor at Morgan Stanley, one of the things I learned very early in my career is that talking to people about investments doesn't touch their heart. What touches their heart and touches your heart is taking a look at what are your dreams? What are things that you want to do with your life that you're not doing right now that take money? And literally writing them out. So I'd have people come up to me and say, you know what? My dream, David, is I want to take my family on a cruise. Great, let's go out and find out how much that cruise is going to cost. You know what I want to do, David, is I want to take my kids to Disneyland. Great, what's that going to cost? I want to put a new kitchen in my home. Okay, what's that going to cost? I want to, I want to buy a second house. The dream account is about doing things that's going to happen between now and retirement. This, by the way, this little secret right here, this dream account, is probably what most people, maybe you, get the most excited about. The way you make your dreams come true, you fund it automatically. So how this works, by the way, is once money goes in your checking account, you have money moved automatically from your checking account. In all these cases, it's being moved automatically from your checking account to your emergency account, automatically from your checking account to an investment account for your dreams. Now, where should the dream money go? All depends on the length of time of your dreams. If it's a short-term dream, it's gonna go in a money market account or a CD. If it's a longer term dream, three years, it's gonna go into a short term bond fund. If it's longer, five years, then you'll start looking at things like stock funds or balance funds. And, and I'll bust this out for you later in additional training. But the key here, the key, identifying a dream and funding for it automatically. Which takes me to number five. Number five is your credit cards. Number five is and most people do not do this, by the way, why well, I'm training you for it. Your credit card bills should be paid automatically. And I want to go through exactly how to do this. So here's what you do. Let's say you've got a credit card right now that's due on the 15th of the month. What I want you to do with your automatic online checking account is I want you to set it up with your bank to have money moved from your checking account the minimum payments required automatically should be paid to that credit card. So let's say as an example, your minimum payment would be $100 a month. You wanna have that minimum payment automatically paid two days before it's due. Now I want you to pay more than the minimum, but the reason I want your minimum payment paid from your checking account is I don't want you to have late fees. I don't want you to have, first of all, I don't want you to be late. I don't want you to have late fees. This is, this is like a million dollar tip here. Your credit score, which I'll talk about later in the training, is simply critical when it comes to your personal financial life. Right now, if you're late on a bill, you can have a great credit score. Like right now, you'd be watching me and your credit score could be 720 or above, which is phenomenal. Do you know that if you're late on one or two bills, within 30 days, your credit score can drop 50 to 100 points? The biggest place I see people get wiped out with their credit scores is on their credit card bills. There's no reason for that to happen. If you've got the money, at a bare minimum, make minimum payments automatically on your credit card, then come in and transfer the rest of the money to pay that bill off. Next, I get to pay the rest of your bills automatically. So, regular bills. Let's go through some of your regular bills. Rent, car, 
phone, movie memberships, gym, utilities, mortgage. I want you to make a list after this video is over. Go through your checking account, your credit card accounts. I want you to look at what bills are you paying regularly? Every single month, it's the same bill. These bills should all be automated. Now, how do you automate them? There's a couple ways you can do this. You can have your, again, checking account automatically transfer money to the specific dollar amounts that you need, or you can have these accounts pull the money from your checking account. The key here with these regular bills, again, so that you don't have late fees and you don't have over the limit fees, is that you make it all automatic. My entire financial life, 90% of my financial life, both personally and professionally, the bills are automated. So if you go to my, you know, literally my house, I can go out of town for months and I don't need to worry about the bills. Why? Because my mortgage is automatic, my utility is automatic, my phone bill is automatic, my cable bill is automatic. Everything that's happening in my life personally, it's automated. And then with my business, also very similar, most of my bills are automatic. So go back to your bills, automate those. And then the last category here is charity. The last category is giving money to charity automatically. And I talked about this in the first training video. What we've found over time is that people who build the greatest wealth are people who gave before they were rich. I think it's so important that part of your money as it's coming in, it also goes out to help people. All right, so look, I know I just gave you a lot here, but this is the great part about this. I just chunked it down for you. This, by the way, this took 20 years to get mastered. So I just gave you, I just downloaded 20 years of knowledge. And the, and the reason this is so powerful is you can do this. You can literally put these seven buckets in place and make your financial life automatic in less than a few hours. So below me, I've got a tool for you and you can click on it. You can download this worksheet and then you can also download the instructions on how to make your financial life automatic. Again, I call this Automatic Millionaire 2.0. So download it, enjoy it. If you've got questions or comments, please post them below because I want to hear from you. And in the next training video, I'm going to cover the top 10 questions around how to build wealth that's sustainable for life. And I'm gonna break down and bust out the biggest myths about money that people have right now. Thank you so much for watching. Live rich, finish rich, start today. I'm David Bach. Thank you for tuning in.